There is a lot of evidence of Aboriginal occupation on the Brisbane water. The Brisbane water was part of the waterways that was home of the dark and young people. They lived in tune with the environment. They understood the importance of looking after the environment, of living sustainably. Uh, their boundaries extended to the Hawkesbury in the south, up to Lake Macquarie in the north, and to the mountain range to the west and up into Mount Yengo, up towards Wiseman's Ferry. Water plays an important role in all Aboriginal people's lives. It not only sustains life, but provides opportunity for them to use that resource. Brisbane water is uh, a really special estuary. We have a, a large range of habitats and it's the habitats that are really important for creating ecosystem biodiversity and ecosystem productivity. So some of the routine work that we do in our estuaries and also in Brisbane water is looking at doing the distribution and abundance of particular species. So we're currently doing that with White Seahorse. I got motivated to become involved in the Seahorse Hotel initiative because I became aware of the lack of research surrounding the white seahorse population in Brisbane water and I was just really excited to help bridge some knowledge gaps about the population as well as provide the council with any relevant data. Probably for sure it started in 2010. Um, we simply went on the Hawkesbury River and started picking up rubbish and we're still doing it. But our aim is to try and engage local communities to remove litter in their waterways. So we're focusing on schools, youth organisations, community organisations. It's more about learning in the environment. The Clean For Sure promotes that and uh, you know we also make a big impact on reducing litter in, the, in their waterways. The osprey were not really present on the central coast, but in recent years they've started to recover and now they're one of the most sighted birds of prey on the central coast. And that's partly because of the success of um, some of the nesting platforms that council and other councils have built across the state. So that's sort of helping to increase their numbers and provide them with safe breeding habitat. The best part about the Central Coast is our natural environment. We have such a great area of bushland and so many waterways to explore. So Council implements a coastal zone management plan for Brisbane Water Estuary, which is designed to look after and protect the estuary all the way from the catchment to the ocean. As a community, we can all play our part to look after Brisbane Water. There are many small things we can do, which will have a big impact on our waterways.